Hey everyone, the name is Rector and today we're talking about introverted sensing. And now, introverted sensing has sometimes wrongly been associated with memory or the ability to memorize things. In reality, there are many different forms of memory. There is patterns mem memory, there is the ability to memorize a story or an experience, there is the ability to remember a procedure or a series of steps or methods. But there is also rote memory and the ability to classify reality and events into facts and ma facts of what has happened and how things happened and when things happened. And SI most closely connects to this form of memory. SI or introverted sensing reflects a person that inflow goes inside and pays close attention inside to what has happened or what is happening or what will happen. Introverted sensing types go from the inside and formulate what has happened, what is going on, what is happening, and then they go outside and then they test and see how reality corresponds to their memory and their ability to draw from memory and from experiences. Introverted sensing types tend to be empirical, fact-oriented, they are, they embody the archetype of an instructor trying to teach a class about a certain field or matter, or they reflect a journalist or reporter that always has to speak the truth, the truth and nothing but the truth. They have to be able to reiterate an experience or an event in as neutral terms as possible. They have to be able to explain what is going on in the world, and they have to bring a sense of reliability, consistency, and trust. Introverted sensing archetypes require high ability to pay attention. They use and draw upon a network in the mind, I think, it could be explained as the saliency network. The sensing types pull from the conscious realm what we are conscious of what we can all clearly see has happened what we can all clearly know so introverted sensing types are associated with a heightened sense to detail because their attention is so strong they are able to really pull and see the details of a matter and to be able to explain an experience in high detail what did the person look like? What did they, were they wearing? When did they do it? At what time? How did they do it? That ability to pay close attention to your surroundings and to have an ability to reiterate later on what has happened to other people and to share it and to share it with a high validity. A lot of us cannot be trusted on to speak about matters. A lot of us do not remember correctly a situation. A lot of us... Uh, add in or draw out or create or add to a story things that have never happened. A lot of us bend and pull and twist to fit our own imagination. But the introverted sensing type does not. Now what I've learned in New Jungian typology is there's a difference between having a cognitive function as your flow function and having it as your dominant function. Now, if you have introverted sensing as your flow function, that means you are the most happy and the most interested in the past. You are most interested in learning about something, what it was, how it works, what it looks like. You want to master things. You enjoy mastering a practice or learning about a field or uh, getting all the details right. You like sitting down and working in every detail to make every sure everything is in the right place. You like going back and reiterating past experiences. Now, if you have introverted sensing as your dominant function, however, that creates a stark difference. The introverted sensing type in the dominant form does this all the time. They not only enjoy it, but they do it all the time. They have mastered it to the point where they have come to become highly reliable, highly accurate in how they are able to see and understand the world. These types, the introverted sensing dominant types, they are, in a sense, the masters of whatever it is they do. The people we all go to for advice because we know they are experienced, because we know they have done it before, because we know that they are consistent and reliable in what they say. 
A person who has introverted sensing as their inferior function is the one that never does these things. The person that we consider to be unreliable. The person we say is always making things up. The person we say is pulling things out of their hat. A person that uh, invents, creates and spreads themselves out without ever pinning themselves down, without ever explaining what is going on. While we understand the introverted sensing type and what they are doing and while they are able to explain themselves well, we do not understand the person with inferior introverted sensing. We consider them to be scattered, we consider them to be unprecise, we consider them to be lost. And that's the core difference between having introverted sensing as your dominant or inferior function. Now, introverted sensing, regardless of this, can either be a position of flow in your life or an aspect of stress in your life. You can either find yourself fascinated with history, with past experiences, with uh, your dad or your parents' heritage, or you can find yourself drained and bored by having to deal with all these details all the time. You can feel that these things are unnecessary or pointless. It's the past, it's not the future. What is the point of getting to know these subjects? I don't care about what I've done before, I care about what I can do now. There is always the next new thing, the next big thing you could try out, the next pattern. There is always where you could go besides this. It's the next thing you could study or the next career you could get. A person who has introverted sensing as their stress type also has extroverted intuition as their flow type. These things are two sides of the coin. The extroverted intuitive takes and is fascinated by the opposite of what the introverted sensing type is. So the introverted sensing flow type has extroverted intuition as their stressor, their core stressor in life. That means often, in practice, extroverted intuition gives the introverted sensing type anxiety. At least when other people cannot handle it or when it's brought to them and they have no idea what it is. Extroverted intuition has to be defined and mastered and practiced before it feels comfortable for the introverted sensing flow type. And that leaves us with two core questions. Are you an SI flow type or an SI stress type? Are you an SI dominant type or are you an SI inferior type? Do you relate to any of these struggles or do you relate to SI? Thanks for watching this video and I hope to see you all in the next one.